Hi, I'm going to tell you how to prepare to assess your class with our apps, language screen, reading screen and math screen. Over the next three minutes, I'll show you how to download and familiarise yourself with the apps and how to gather the QR codes you'll need to start assessments. For the purposes of this demonstration, I'm going to assume you already have an Oxed account, that you've registered some pupils for assessment and that your school profile has an active trial or subscription for the app you're going to use. Here we are, I've logged into my Oxed account at oxedandassessment.com and the first thing I'm going to do is select my school. I know some of you work across several schools, but I just have one. The app I'm planning to use today is Language Screen and the bar at the top of the screen shows that my school has an active Language Screen trial or subscription. And that means I can conduct Language Screen assessments. If you have a subscription for any of our other assessment tools like Reading Screen or Math Screen, they'll be shown here too. So I'm going to click now on Language Screen, which takes me to the Language Screen page. You'll see links to the Google and Apple stores where you can download the Language Screen app onto your tablet or smartphone. Or you can search for Language Screen in your device's App Store app and download it that way. We recommend you use a tablet for your assessments, but a smartphone with a large screen will work too. Before we take a look at the app, we need some QR codes for the pupils we're going to assess. I'm going to click on the link to my school in the breadcrumb trail and then select this class of pupils that I registered earlier. Every pupil in the class has a unique QR code, which is what we scan to start their assessment without the app needing to access any personal data about them. We can find a pupil's QR code under their profile. Or we can go back to the class page, select the QR codes tab and see a list of QR codes for the whole class. Notice that the first QR code in the list is always a practice code, which you can use to familiarise yourself with the assessment without any data being saved. One run through should be all you need to get the hang of it. You'll also see that there's a download PDF button which will generate a print friendly version which you can print or store for later use. There's a space next to each code to record the date of the initial assessment and the person carrying it out, so you can use this as a handy checklist. You can also record a follow up assessment, for example, after a language intervention such as Nelly. So now I've installed and familiarised myself with the app, I've printed off the list of QR codes for my class and I'm ready to try an assessment. Look out for our video guides to using language screen, reading screen and math screen.